This video will show you how to create a custom device. To start, press the Add key. Scroll almost all the way down to the bottom, select Custom, and press Next. There are two types of custom devices. The first is the standard remote. Looks like all the others that are created for every other device. The next is a button list. For the button list, if you just have a, a, an odd remote that just you want to give it a name and not use the icons, then you can just create as many of these keys as you like. To, to, pro, to give the key a name, press the plus key. To program it, press the right arrow and you'll get the learning screen. I'm just going to back up and show you the, the standard remote and program some keys there. We'll call it my device. So here you have a listing of all the keys that you can program. And you see it's a pretty full remote, and you can only pro just it'll just display the ones that you that you actually program. So to start out, we'll press the power key. We want to learn that one. So you'll see on the graph there uh, on the programming screen, it just kind of shows you the signal strength of the remote that you're learning from. So you can kind of, if, you're, if I'm a little bit off, I don't get quite as good a signal. You can see it's very low right there. As I move back, you get a, a much higher pulse as if I'm off, then it's, it's low again. And this remote gives you a high pulse at the beginning and some lows after that. It's fairly common. As you'll see, your device may vary, it's just some of them are different. You press the learn key, and now it's actually, you'll see the graphic change to so what it's actually learning. It's waiting for you to input the key. Just tap the key that you want to learn, and it learned it. If you want to test the key to make sure that the remote learned it properly, you just press test, and you'll see the actual key transmitted to your TV. So once your key's ready, press save, and you can go in and program as many of these as you like. And like I said before, the ones that you don't use won't get displayed. And we'll just do one more. So once you're done programming, you press the next key. Now you can actually test the keys that you learned. So for all the ones that were learned, you'll get a nice nice beep. For the ones that weren't, you'll get a, a, a little denial. So you press next, you can go in and give it a name. Give it a skin, pardon me. And there's your custom device.